Today, I'm going to spend 100 hours shiny hunting in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And my goal for today is to complete the entire shiny decks, which includes 224 unique targets. This is going to be an absolutely insane challenge. And not only that, but we're also going to be aiming for 15 shiny alpha Pokemon as well. So with these two goals in mind, I got right into this marathon and found our first shiny in just 17 minutes. It was nothing but a common Starly. However, after evolving him into a Staravia and then Staraptor, we could check off three of the shinies for the decks. And yes, the previous evolutions will stay ticked off after evolving. I couldn't wait to see what was in store for us, seeing as this game gives out shinies faster than any other Pokemon game. And I have proof, considering the second hour gave us four shinies, including a Toxicroak, a Lime Green Stantler who became a Weird Ear, this amazing little Skaroopy, as well as the first shiny alpha. What the hell? Oh my god! Shiny Alpha Toxicroak! Yo, that is so sick! I'll take it! Getting our first Shiny Alpha that quickly came as such a surprise. And although it was our first duplicate for the Shiny decks, I will gladly accept this giant frog. During the third hour, the only thing we managed to find was a Shiny Beautifly. And although finding fully evolved Shinies wasn't too bad, it did mean we're still gonna need their previous evolutions for the decks, making them kind of useless. Anyways, after evolving that Skroopy from earlier into the this absolute disappointment, I realized that two hours had zoomed by us already with nine targets ticked off so far. Basically, this is how we're going to be showing off our progress every now and then, with the percentages of how much of the decks we've completed in comparison to how much time has passed. Then there's also our shiny alpha frog who's helping us towards the second goal. And you know what? To add even more madness to the challenge, if either of these goals aren't completed in time, I'll have to give away a hundred of the shinies from this video to my subscribers. Also, just quickly pointing this out, we are incredibly close to 100,000 subs and earning that silver play button. So please throw your master ball at that subscribe button to help make that dream come true. Anyways, continuing off our journey, we managed to find a little hippo and a rufflet, who we then evolved into a big hippo and my main form of transportation. Next came a combi, who we unfortunately couldn't evolve, seeing as it wasn't female. But then, after spotting a shiny Silcoon and Carnivine, something insane happened. <gasps> oh my god, it's Alpha! That is awesome! Yo, let's go! That's insane! I've wanted one of these for ages! That is crazy! I love this little giant weasel so much! We then evolved him into a Floatzel for the decks and came across a green Machop half an hour later, who soon became a Machoke and then a four-armed Maycham. And for the rest of our eight, I ended up getting a lot of middle and final stages, like Graveler, Chimeco, and Parasect, which wasn't exactly ideal, because although I could evolve Graveler into a Golem, I still need to find Geodude Chingling in Paris. Thankfully though, we were greeted by the true god of Pokemon and after praising him, he allowed me to evolve him to B-Barrel for our decks. And literally just like that, after we caught a silly pink monkey and a sentient iceberg, we had crossed the 10 hour mark. Once we evolved them, we had 31 Pokemon ticked off. That's nearly 14% of the decks, which may seem good seeing as we're ahead of schedule. However, the more shinies we tick off, the more duplicates we're going to start bumping into. On the other hand, we were doing pretty good with the shiny alphas thankfully. And on the topic of shiny alphas. Let's just say this next hour might have been the craziest I've ever experienced. <gasps> Whoa, that's a shiny alpha machop. Let's go. <gasps> oh, what the hell? Shiny alpha Staravia? What? What is going on? Another shiny alpha and it's a Starly this time? All we need is Staraptor now and we've got the whole shiny alpha family. Yep, no joke. All three of those shiny alphas spawned within a single hour. And that's not even including the regular shinies I found in between, including Carnivine, Apalm, Magby, who I evolved into its two evolutions, Ambipalm, and this beautiful blue Psyduck, who actually triggered some flashbacks in me. Oh my god, I actually thought that was going to be the Golduck for a second. Oh, thank god it's the Psyduck. For those who are new here, Shiny Golduck is my arch nemesis. He's put a curse on me ever since my Area Zero video, where I found over 40 of his terrible Shinies looking for other targets. And since then, he's been finding his way into almost every video, haunting and taunting me, with my most recent and traumatic experience happening when his Shiny Alpha appeared. So hearing the Shiny Sparkles right before the Static Alpha Golduck, Golduck spawn nearly gave me a heart attack, but thankfully it was only this pure of heart Psyduck who we absolutely love and I refuse to evolve into the red beak demon. If
if I want a shiny Golduck to complete this dex in the video, I'll be finding him in the wild. Because I vow never to evolve a Psyduck into that evil monster ever again. We were safe for now. But I have a bad feeling Golduck is planning something malicious. Anyways, with most of the shiny decks still incomplete, the next few hours we managed to find plenty of new things, including an unknown T, a pink Murkrow, a little Swinub, the three evolutions from them, and then my absolute favorite shiny Pokemon added to Legends Arceus, being the adorable Hisui and Zoroa. This shiny could not be improved even if you tried, and the same thing could be said about Hisui and Zoroa, who was one of the most badass looking Pokemon of all time. Continuing with the streak of new shinies, we then found a green spaghetti monster who turned into a spaghetti titan, a Rhyhorn who we could evolve for two more shinies, a Drift Blim and Octillery who I still need the pre-evolutions for, and then randomly another Silcoon. And I know this may seem really, really easy at the moment, but remember, we're working with a blank slate, and the more new things we find, the more the difficulty is gonna compound and get much harder. But for now, we continue to thrive with more new Pokemon, with the only duplicate here being Hippopotas. This also gave us seven new evolutions, and right as I was on top of the world, the Red Beak Demon decided to scare me again. Oh my god, Psyduck, but look, look, he's next to another Golduck. What message is he trying to convey to me? Okay, I love that we're getting shiny Psyducks and not Golduck, but I feel like he's using them as bait, because that's twice now a blue Psyduck has spawned hostage to an alpha Golduck. What is he planning? Is he luring me with the Psyduck to study me? I'm getting worried now, but you know what? I have a challenge to complete, so I moved forward, continuing to find a bunch of new shinies with the honorable mentions going to this amazing blue flame Tonita, my first shiny I ever found in this game, and a really cool Gligar. We then evolved all the ones that would give us new targets, and things were starting to get a little more difficult now, seeing as over the next 12 shinies, only two of them were new, Hapini and Celio, which ticked off three more in evolutions. I was then extremely happy to find one of my favorite shiny starters, Rowlet, and after getting its evolutions, we had crossed the 24 hour mark. 78 shinies down, which equals almost 35% of the decks, and again, that may seem pretty good for the pacer on, but like I was just saying, we're starting to see a lot more duplicates showing up. On the other hand, 5 out of 15 shiny alphas is actually really good, seeing as duplicates aren't an issue in that department. Snowrunt was our next find, and we lucked out in managing to get its female exclusive evolution pretty quickly. And then after another seal, we actually had a pretty good hour ahead of us, seeing as we found a blue ghastly, a mime junior, and a pikachu, which obviously gave us a bunch of new evolutions. Oh, and would you look at the time, we're due for another shiny alpha. Whoa! Oh my god! Electrovire! I was not expecting that at all, but oh my god, I'll take it. Nice! It'd actually be a while before our next shiny alpha, but let me just say, something crazy is gonna happen later. After three more doubles, we were still getting pretty lucky with new stuff, like Cricketot who turned into a Cricketune, a female shiny combi, which I was super hyped about, seeing as it's required to evolve into a Vespaqueen and really rare, and then a Sphiel and a Remoraid. And after getting yet another monkey, I ended up hearing the shiny shiny sparkles in the Alabaster Icelands, but just could not find where the shiny was. I spent ages flying around trying to spot any Pokemon that looked different, but it turns out it was actually this green Mistrevis who was underground, and I just happened to hear the sparkles above ground, which was funny. We then evolved it into a Miss Magius, got another four useless shinies back to back, and then found our 100th unique shiny for the decks, Yanma. I obviously then evolved him and then turned this green Golbat I found into the crazy pink Crobat. And well, I honestly have no idea how this happened, but we somehow managed to get a double shiny Gibble spawn. That is awesome, but it doesn't stop there. Fast forward seven minutes and we were greeted with a third sparkling Gibble, and then only three minutes later we bumped into our fourth shiny Gibble in a row. What the hell was going on? At least we could have all the evolutions at the same time now, I guess. Although it was starting to look like Duplicate Central, we actually had another two hours where almost everything was new, only interrupted by one Kadabra we didn't need. This gave us a couple of new evolutions, but Unfortunately, our Wurmple became another Silcoon, although we needed Cascoon. From hours 37 to 40, I got another 7 duplicates and 4 new shinies, starting off with an Eevee, who I'm only just realizing now is gonna be really hard to complete the whole shiny family of, seeing as there's 8 evolutions I need to get. I decided to start off with Vaporeon, and we also found a Magikarp who evolved into the Red Gyarados, a really cool shiny Chatot, and then after finding an Abra, I think he gained some inspiration from Gibble, because after another snow run, I found a second Abra in this outbreak 
break. But then, just moments after catching it, a third one spawned. But because I wasn't paying attention, I quickly grabbed my controller and accidentally dived, which almost scared it off. So I had to quickly use my ninja reflexes to just encounter it before he teleported away. It may not seem like a lot on screen, but it was like the most intense five seconds ever. I did not want to lose it. I fail enough shinies already. And then going back to the whole Gibble inspiration thing, of course a fourth one spawns half an hour later. Our next 14 shinies only ticked off three new targets, which would include Geodude, Bronzong, and Heracross. And then we got something pretty cool. Oh, what? Shiny Alpha Luxray. I've wanted to get this one shiny for so long. What an awesome thing to add to the collection. Now, remember how I said something crazy is gonna happen in regards to shiny alphas? Well, just keep this Luxray in mind. Only three more dupes later, we somehow scored another shiny alpha, which was one I've wanted for quite a while now. <gasps> no way! That's a shiny Alpha Torterra! And I'm pretty sure that Luxray was like only an hour ago. That is so cool, I love this! And then after another five shinies, with two new ones being Shellos and Chingling, we got a third shiny Alpha in less than three hours! Another one? What? We're getting shiny alphas back to back. Well, not back to back, but just like so quickly. I'll definitely take that. Our shiny alpha luck is insane. Literally the moment we hit the 50 hour mark, we managed to find another amazing blue Psyduck. This time with no Golduck in sight, which is actually making me more suspicious now. What is that demon up to? Anyways, like I just said, we had hit the halfway mark now. And with 128 shinies ticked off, that was 57% of the decks. Not too crazy of a lead anymore but I've still got faith we can do this. Also, we've only got six more shiny alphas to go as well. And remember, if I fail either of these goals, a hundred of the shinies I find in this video are going directly to you guys. Now, I haven't mentioned this yet, but the main way I've been hunting is simply by flying over all the outbreaks and just waiting to hear the shiny sparkle sound. However, with the importance of getting shinies we still don't have now, I'm gonna have to start clearing out the outbreaks for more shiny rolls, which means the rate we'll be finding shinies may be lower, but it's more likely we'll find stuff we need. The next nine shinies I found scored me a new Bronzor, Glalie, the other form of Shellos, which was cool, and then I got my very first duplicate shiny alpha. <gasps> Excuse me? Is that a second one? That's a second one. No way. I mean, it's an absolute banger, but what? A second one? Damn, I can't believe we've got two of these now. Surely I won't get another one, right? Our next four sparkling Pokemon helped us get a Krogog and a Bonsly, who became Pseudo Wudo, and I'll just let this next clip speak for itself. <gasps> What is going on? What is happening? That is a third one. A third shiny Alpha Luxray in the exact same spot. <laughs> I'm actually speechless. Like, like, what do I say? Are we going to end up with a whole team of him by the end of this? How is this even possible? What are the odds we find a third one? Thank God these aren't shiny Alpha Goldox or I'll probably be doing some illegal things right now. To be fair though, it's actually pretty epic seeing three of these giants on the screen at the same time. Anyways, we still weren't done with shiny alphas. Seeing as after another four shinies, which included a nose pass and a Voltorb who became Probopass and Electrode, I ended up spotting something I've been looking for this entire time. A Spiritomb outbreak with a star. Spiritomb is one of the hardest Pokemon to shiny hunt in this game because he's a super rare spawn. However, I've now got a star outbreak, which means a second wave will spawn once I clear the original and they'll all be alphas. And thankfully, there's a shiny hunting method I can use on this to help us get a shiny alpha Spiritomb. And it's no as the permutation method. Now, I won't go into too much detail on how it works because it's sort of complicated, but basically, how you clear an outbreak in this game will determine the stats of the next Pokemon that spawns. So if I just catch all the Spiritomb in the outbreak, the ones that spawn in Wave 2 will have certain stats. However, if I kill one of the Spiritomb in the outbreak and catch the rest, the Wave 2 spawns will be totally different in regards to the stats. And same if I kill two of the Spiritomb and catch the rest. The stats will keep changing. Now, yes, this is a pretty dumbed down explanation, but I hope you get the idea. Basically, I just go through multiple different ways of clearing the outbreak until one of the Spiritombs are shiny. It can be a pretty horrible and tedious process, but it'd be the only way I see us finding a blue Spiritomb. Oh, and thankfully, there's actually this website that you can use to guide yourself and tick off different permutations you've tried. And after only around two hours of using this method, I got exactly what I was looking for. 
<gasps> oh my god, there he is. Shiny Alpha Spiritomb. That is one of the best shinies ever. Just look how sick that looks. And it's an alpha. Thankfully, there was a shiny Alpha Spiritomb and only the ninth permutation listed on this checklist. I was so happy it was over because Spiritomb is an evil Pokemon to clear out because of how aggressive he is. But thankfully, we could finally move forward. And the next eight shinies we bumped into only cleared one new family of Pokemon. That being the Red Duskull and a Spooky Evolutions. I then started to get pretty lucky with an awesome white Quillfish who evolved into Overquill, a pink Pachirisu, and then the first Pokemon in my favorite shiny family, Brault. This one was thankfully a male, which is perfect because it's the only way a Curlier could evolve into a Glade. Unlike Gardevoir, who can be either gender, so it was nice to get him out the way. After coming across some Route 1 birds, we then got something I've actually always wanted. Whoa! Oh my god! Shiny Alpha Gliscor? That is sick! That's another Shiny Alpha I've wanted for ages! And next came an adorable little Piplup which allowed me to tick off another starter Pokemon family. Unfortunately, over the next two hours, we were given a bunch of unwanted Shinies we'd already gotten. But we came back strong with a Munchlax, Teddy Ursa, and Cleffa, all within half an hour. Snorlax is such a chill Pokemon, so I was happy to finally get him. As well as Clefairy and Clefable. After another pointless green Zubat, something awesome happened. And that'd be a double shiny spawn. Yep, that was two shiny Monfernos at the same time. This was obviously really cool, but also quite a punch in the face, considering how many Chimchar outbreaks I've gone through to try and find the baby monkey. However, I was hyped to get a shiny primate. After a couple more doubles, as well as these new Baneri and Finneon shinies, for whatever reason, the game thought it was a good idea to give us a third Monferno. No, that's not the right monkey game. What don't you understand? Well, at least I can mark off Laponi and Luminion. And well, I think it's time for another progress update. 74 hours through and we've got 162 shinies for the decks. That's only 72%, meaning for the first time this challenge, we're behind schedule. And well, let's just say some of the remaining shinies are ones I never even considered the complexities of. Thankfully, I only need two more shiny alphas to complete the second goal. The next seven shinies we found had one new Pokemon being Paris, as well as this shiny Lilligan, which we did already have, but I've never seen spawn shiny in the wild before. And you know what I haven't found? in a while, another shiny alpha. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> shiny Alpha Per Ugly. I'm not that crazy about you as a Pokemon, but damn, your shiny is actually really good. One more Alpha remains, and after finding another Toxicroak, I was absolutely thrilled with our next shiny, Rotom. Why, you may be asking? Well, because one, I love this Pokemon in general, and the shiny is really good. But two, just try going through an outbreak of these guys without raging or bringing up your blood pressure, because they're just so annoyingly aggressive. But thankfully, we lucked out by getting the shiny. And on the topic of luck, just check this out. <gasps> no way! Yo! Shiny Alpha Psyduck! Hello! It's not a Golduck this time! Am I no longer cursed? I am actually so thrilled about this! Thank you so much, Psyduck, for giving me your shiny Alpha form! Surely this was her trying to cheer me up for all the shiny Golduck trauma I've been through. Is the curse wearing off? Speaking of the devil, though, where is he? I'm now over 75 hours into this challenge and have crossed hundreds of regular Golduck, and genuinely not a single shiny has shown up. It's it's very strange, but I guess I just need to savor this moment. And well, the luck continued. Seeing as next, I ended up getting a shiny Cherubi, who would almost be impossible without an outbreak, because they normally only spawn in trees, which would be the most time-consuming hunt ever. And we then got a green Onyx, allowing us to get Cherum and Steelix. And okay, now I'm really questioning the effects of the curse, because we found another blue Psyduck right in front of the static Alpha Golduck spawn. What the hell was going on? He's had the prime opportunity to appear shiny hundreds of times. Yet he decides to hold back for once? I must be missing something. Oh, hold on. I think I see what's going on. Golduck knows I'd never let one of my blue baby ducks evolve into the red big demon. So he's deciding to hide himself for once so that I can't tick him off our shiny decks and fail the challenge. Bro was literally toying with me and trying to bait me into growing his army. But mark my words, whether I do find him within the next 22 hours or not, I will not be evolving any of my Psyduck. We cannot unleash any more demons into this world. Well played, Golduck. Anyways, with another Another eight shiny Pokemon found, three of them helped mark more targets off, with Vulpix giving us nine tails, Cyndaquil giving us another whole starter family, and an outbreak Gardevoir completing its shiny family. And despite having all 15 shiny alphas for our second goal, they didn't stop coming. Wait. 
There's a shiny alpha graveler over there. Come on, are you gonna... Oh, there you go. I just saw him off in the distance. I could have totally missed that. After that, we got a few more middle evolution shinies, including a duplicate Dusclops, a duplicate Rhyhorn, and finally something new, a Grottle. With only 18 hours remaining, I realized things weren't looking good. Considering we still need 49 unique shinies to complete the main goal. And well, let's just say, some of these Pokemon might actually take 100 hours alone to find. For example, there's a few Pokemon that'll only spawn in these stupid time distortions. And if you're unaware of how incredibly rare these shinies are, there's a really good video by Carmen Collection explaining the complexities of hunting these Pokemon, proving it would take on average 116 hours to find one of these rare spawn shiny. That is ridiculous. Oh, and there's also Burmy who can't have outbreaks and can only be found in trees, which is without a doubt the slowest way to encounter Pokemon in this game. I also hinted at the struggles of getting all the evolutions earlier. Oh, and not to mention the whole Golduck situation, but all I can do is try my luck. Thankfully, our shiny alpha goal was complete, which I'm really happy about. So with less than 18 hours left, we continued the grind. And despite targeting things we didn't have yet, I was obviously running into a plethora of duplicates that I think calls for a quick musical montage, which you guys seem to love from my other videos. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, it wasn't the easiest finding new things to add to the collection, even if I was directly targeting a certain Pokemon. However, that journey through Victory Road didn't leave us empty handed, because we actually managed to find a shiny Oshawa to check off his family, a Badoo who I could do the same thing with, and the final unique shiny I found for this challenge was a Dustox. And that was time! So after 100 hours of shiny hunting in Legends Arceus, we found 264 shinies in the wild, got 182 unique Pokemon checked off the shiny decks and 16 alpha shinies. I'm actually so happy with these results. And sucked in Golduck, you weren't the only reason I failed this challenge like you hoped so. Anyways, I'm going to be giving away 100 shinies to you guys in my new Discord server. Link in the description. And if that somehow wasn't enough shinies, please make sure to click the video on screen. And thank you all so much for watching.